What if Naruto was a tailed beast part 8? Let's go. Naruto, who is sitting in the stands, after hearing the explosion, immediately went over to the basement of the Konoha prison to check out Orochimaru's cell, as it was most likely that the explosions were there because of Orochimaru somehow linked to him. However, Orochimaru was already gone. His chakra seals were off, laying all over the floor, and the prison guards were beat up and knocked out unconscious. The prison cells were completely shattered, as more prisoners than just Orochimaru had left. Even though, yes, Orochimaru was in a basically private cell away from all the other prisoners, some of the other prisoners escaped too, as now... There was a mass breakout, as well as one of the most feared and wanted shinobi in the whole world on the run inside Konoha. Whilst all other shinobi are looking at the Chunin exams. Naruto goes throughout the whole village trying to sense anybody's chakra, but Orochimaru is trying his best to conceal it, as he still has a seal on him, just not an actual one that stops him from doing any chakra usage or cha jutsus. He actually has one that seals his chakra and makes it invisible for anyone else. So basically, no one can sense his chakra. But with pure speed, Naruto does finally see Orochimaru as he also sees Kabuto, somebody that he had briefly seen in the Chunin exams before, but then dropped out during the preliminaries as well as a few other shinobi that all came to rescue their master, Orochimaru. Orochimaru is shivering to the bone seeing Naruto here, as he knows that Naruto likely became even stronger since their last encounter, as he had at least one month worth of training. Immediately when Na Naruto is seen by Orochimaru, Orochimaru tries to flee and tells everyone, everyone to run for their lives. Kabuto thinks that this is completely unlike anything that Orochimaru would have ever acted like if it wasn't a true Kagi level threat or even higher. As Orochimaru probably has the power to take out even a normal Kage, maybe not a high Ka Hokage or a high Kage level fighter, but he definitely has a lot of power, especially with his subordinates and Kabuto who's not that weak either. And then he just tells everyone to run that's not a good sign. So now Kabuto is pretty scared, and when trying to sense Chakra, he is not possible. He thinks to himself, it's what is going on? None of them can feel any presence or any type of chakra, as Naruto did them dirty, and actually expanded his chakra out so far that in a hundred meter radius all that anyone can sense inside that radius is naruto his chakra is so strong and there's so much of it that he overpowers anyone else and so anyone trying to sense anyone's chakra only sense his especially if they're in that bubble of chakra so virtual can't contact anyone else to try to help him or make any plans to flee with anyone else meanwhile he knows that naruto is hunting him down with insane speeds rivaling that of a kage level fighter or even higher as he activated his chakra cloak enhancing his physical abilities and even though he had just been in a fight with sasuke it really didn't take that much of a toll on his body i mean his chakra and recovery powers are insane, so even if he did, he had multiple minutes, which is more than enough for him. Orochimaru tries to think of anything, really anything, and Kabuto actually finds Orochimaru and they try to make a quick plan. And Kabuto tries to heal Orochimaru as best as possible, as Orochimaru did have some wounds from his time in prison. As no one wanted to heal him, he was still a criminal after all. So healing him would be a liability and a threat to the village, so no one did. Now Kabuto used a whole bunch of his chakra, as there was quite a bit to heal within Orochimaru's body. But then, because they were a little loud, Naruto heard them, 
as his ears are incredibly sensitive and he can hear humans from much, much farther than anyone else. So he finally found those two, immediately took out Kabuto, and now sees Orochimaru in front of him, who had just been healed prior, but still isn't at his full power and still has a few scratches. Orochimaru is completely terrified seeing how Naruto easily took out Kabuto with one quick dash. As Kabuto's dead body is laying beside Orochimaru, looking up at him with his dreamy eyes. So what will it be, Orochimaru? Will you come back to your cell? Naruto asked. <laughs> Orochimaru had adrenaline rush to his head as he saw no way out as he started running, using any means necessary, and even used some of his jutsu to transform, to body flicker, to make clones, anything that could try to help him or shake off Naruto, but none of it worked. Naruto kept on sensing Archimaru's presence, as without Archimaru even seeing, Naruto actually ripped off the seal that Archimaru had, so now it was easy for Naruto to catch him, hunt him down, and well, eliminate him if needed. So, after about one more minute, whilst more shinobi are slowly coming to the help, to the rescue, Naruto already has Orochimaru knocked out and tied up with even more seals than before, his body shaking on the ground. Because even though it's unconscious, Orochimaru's instincts are going crazy, sensing Naruto's insane power and having the insane shock of their, well, quote-unquote battle mere seconds ago that Naruto easily ended very, very quickly. As he basically condensed all of his chakra aura into one ball and flicked it at Orochimaru at his brain, which completely set him into unconsciousness as it basically short-circuited his brain. So, Naruto's crazy aura is kind of gone. There are still traces of it for experienced shinobi to sense. By the way, the reason Minato didn't arrive earlier was that he was actually taking care of the civilians as he didn't want any of them to be hurt because that is his for number one duty. Because hunting down shinobi and rogue shinobi and criminals is important but saving the people and helping them in need is more important as the Hokage's duty. However, other Jonin arrived quickly as Kakashi and some of his quote-unquote friends like Gai, Asuma, and Kurnai, as well as some Anbu, the same ones that saw Orochimaru in the Forest of Death in the first place during the second exam, all arrived and saw Orochimaru's unconscious body on the floor, shaking, trembling, beneath Naruto's feet, with Naruto with a smirk on his face, but also head down looking a little bit sad at the same time. He was sad that Orochimaru was able to leave the village, or I guess leave the prison, as he didn't really leave the village, he wasn't able to. He was kind of on the border almost leaving the village, but Naruto was just too fast. He was basically in the forest that led to Konoha Wall. The same forest where Mizuki tried to take Naruto's scroll and kill him in the first arc. That one. And Naruto is very angry at himself that civilians got hurt, and if not that, buildings got destroyed, and well, it just made the people sad, which made him sad, as it was his shinobi duty to help the people for this to never happen. Yet, it did. He handed Orochimaru over to the Jonin and Anbu as they carefully escorted him over to the prison, Naruto slowly trotting along behind the group. If you're wondering, yes, a few other shinobi are still there. Some people who tried to, well, help in the rescue of their master Orochimaru. Some friends and even subordinates of Kabuto as he basically took over Orochimaru's army as he is his right hand, his second in command. But as Kabuto and his strongest subordinates are already out cold, it was an ease for the rest of the shinobi to clean up 
and then Naruto and Minato swept the ground looking for any survivors or possible prisoners, and then the whole fiasco was over as quick as it began. Now, Naruto, of course, was questioned many, many times for hours on end, as basically for the remaining of the day, as well as the next, she had no time to breathe, no free time, and wasn't seen anywhere by his friends. Naruto didn't really say much more than he did last time. All there was visible by others was a purplish sphere of death, of pure chakra. As well as when the Jonin Anbu arrived, there was a small sight of eleven tails. Once again, purplish, with white and a few red stripes. Minerto had some weird thoughts, or at least he thought they were weird. He thought that somehow Naruto was of a completely different clan that they don't know of. Or perhaps she somehow had a relation to an animal, if that makes sense. Or something. And if that was the case, probably a fox or a lion or something like that. And whilst he really didn't want to think about it, worst case scenario, the nine-tailed fox. Minato truly loved Naruto as his own son, as Naruto also kind of saw Minato as his human impersonation of a father. So it wasn't like they had a big fight. Minato just wasn't sure what Naruto really was. But maybe if they got to understand each other, the situation would be better again. Now, it was explained to everybody that a second version of the Trunin exams would be held very soon. Not many damages happened to the village, and no one died. Just some minor injuries on some civilians, but that's it. Nothing that couldn't be fixed in a few days, at max. So, after less than a week, the village was completely back to normal. And whilst people were still a little shook up, it wasn't anything terrible. The second exams were held exactly one week after the original, so now we cut to the exams once again. Now, as I said, Mitsumori was gonna fight a definition of an average tuning, as he does, and actually wins, which is pretty surprising, because that basically confirms that he has at least the fighting power to beat a tuning, which at a young Genin level is really, really good. However, then, once again, they have a problem. Three competitors for the finals. But of course, they had thought that through, through tr as well. So now there would be a three-way battle, a 1v1v1 between Naruto, Shiru, and Mitsumori. Three of probably the most promising shinobi in Konoha, and perhaps even the whole shinobi world. Maybe not the whole shinobi world, but definitely very promising candidates for future Hokage, perhaps? Who knows? But definitely they have the potential of becoming Jonin, Anbu, or even something greater that's currently unimaginable. A title similar to a Sani, perhaps? that would be in the distant future. For now, they would have their battle to see who is truly worthy of having the champion title of the tuning exams. So the match began as the whole audience was excited. Now, the audience was exactly the same as it was a week ago. Of course, there was a few people who did leave as they did fear another attack of some sort but most of the people actually stayed as they knew and had experienced only a few days ago that Kona is capable of defending themselves from powerful attacks and shinobi, so it'd be fine if they stayed. And Kona had actually offered everyone free housing until the second junior exams would go. So now we go back to the present where the fight finally begins with the audience being swayed by the emotions in the battlefield, in the arena of the true finals of the Chunin exams. Begin! The proctor yelled. Naruto gathered the chakra in his feet. Shiru activated her Sharingan. Mitsumori 
got Kunai out of his pouch and clenched them in his hand with a determined face. He was ready for a fight. Naruto looked the most relaxed out of all of them, as then Shiru made the first move of those three and actually headed for Naruto, as she thought not only would he not be ready to fight right now as he didn't look it, but also he had a fight with her brother and won, which kind of made her angry because she wants to protect her brother's honor. Not only that, he would also be exhausted. Maybe, who knows. But she wants to avenge her brother, and it would just be the best thing for her to attack Naruto right now. So she does, and as soon as she tries to use a fireball jutsu, the classic entry to a fight of the Juchiha clan, and try to burn Naruto, he simply jumps up without even bending his knees, using the air jump technique that he developed himself, just that he pushes himself off the ground, and then basically does the whole pinball machine thing again, and lands at the opposite side of the arena that he started on. Shiru is dumbfounded at Naruto's insane speed that he seemed to activate so explosively, and Mitsumori is in awe, excited to see if he can fight Naruto perhaps. Now Shiru tries to continue to fight Naruto as he keeps on dodging without much hassle, as now Mitsumori joins in the fight, but instead of fighting Shiru who looks open and not ready to be prepared to be attacked from behind, instead Mitsumori actually starts fighting Naruto as well, as now basically Shiru and Mitsumori are fighting two on one against Naruto. They give each other a quick glance as they nod, and then it's basically a deal set and done they're gonna fight Naruto together. Now Mitsumori uses his speed, as it's not crazy, but he did do some training with his father during the one month training time, so his speed definitely increased quite a bit. Now Naruto, of course, could try to still dodge with just air jumps, but he actually takes it a little more seriously, as now he stays on the ground and fights like a normal person. Not really fighting, mostly dodging, blocking a few attacks, as Shiru and Mitsumori surprisingly are fighting with pretty good teamwork. Now at this point, Naruto doesn't really want to power up to any chakra cloak or anything, so this is raw power. So he actually powers down to make it a even fight. And then he actually starts hitting back a little bit. At the beginning, only a few blows, but then more and more, and then it becomes a pretty much even match dealing an equal number of blows from both sides. Mitsumori is getting hit the most, as Shiru keeps on trying to get sneak attacks from the side, and kicking down Naruto's legs for him to lose his composure, but Naruto sees it coming every single time, as he still uses some of his chakra to enhance his eyesight and reflexes. He doesn't want to lose the fight completely, he just wants to make it fair. That doesn't mean he's going to let them win. Now Naruto goes more serious, as actually fully commits, and goes for Mitsumori, actually going on the offensive. It continues hitting him, and actually does some damage. Mitsumori is getting bruised up a little bit, nothing serious. And Shiro tries to come to the rescue, though she's pushed back with a single kick from Naruto. Shiro tries to use much more Jutsu, as she hasn't used any chakra really she's only used her sharingan though she didn't need it that much for the fight so it didn't actually use up that much chakra she still has quite a bit left and mitsumori still has basically all of his chakra left so they both start and stand up again but now instead of fighting hand in hand in close range they actually use combined jutsu for example the yochiya girl using some fire jutsu Meanwhile, Mitsumori rushes in for a quick dash, or also using one of his jutsu, and once even tries to use an Uzumaki seal that he learned from his mother, Kushina, to try to seal Naruto's chakra, which is actually going pretty close as the chakra chains are very good and powerful jutsu, but Naruto is able to quickly dodge them before they hit him, as now there is a big freighter in the ground, Naruto uses a tiny bit of his chakra cloak, about 1% of what he can use, 
but it still buffs his power by quite a bit, about 30%, which is a lot in this fight. Think about a 30% increase in power, that's quite a bit. And with that, Naruto is able to quickly rush Mitsumori, hit him to the ground, and then do the same to Shiru, as he is the only one standing. And as soon as any one of them tries to stand up, he quickly pushes them to the ground, giving one more hit in the stomach. At this point, Mitsumori is already out cold, and Shiru is on the edge of giving up, but tries once more as Naruto slowly walks over instead of near teleporting with his insane speed. Gives her a little glance, a nod, a little smile, and then knocks her out with one quick flick to the head. With that, Naruto won the match, impressing everyone. The audience is shook. As by the way, the audience and the public doesn't really know that Naruto actually took out Urchimaru two times now, though it is known amongst the shinobi. Well, mostly the more experienced and older shinobi, but some genin have come to know it too, especially from their parents. And Shikamaru even found it out himself. But anyways, now Naruto won the Shunin exams and has the Shunin rank automatically, as the others could still get it, but winning the Shunin exams gives him an automatic promotion to Shunin. He gets a gold medal for it, as Shiru and Mitsumori get one too, though they're still knocked out so they can't physically receive it. Then the day ends. And that's going to be it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.